Mom of three in NYC. I am back with another video. Yay! If you are a returning tribe member, hey there. Hey, how are you? Hope you're doing great. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Teneza. I am the mother of three whole people whole people sometimes i think like many adults my kids are are a trip i would love for you to join my youtube channel and all you have to do is hit the button down below that says s-u-b-s-c-r-i-b-e s-u-b-s-c-r-i-b-e subscribe if you are already subscribed i thank you thank you thank you please do make sure that your post notifications are turned on so every video that i post you make sure that you watch. All right, this video is a review of Married at First Sight UK Edition Season 7, Episode 23. All right, so we are still on the second round of homestays. It begins with Whitney and Matt. Whitney takes Matt to Hitchin to meet with her BFF, Allie. Allie says she's never seen Whitney smile like this. Matt, Whitney confides in Allie, has already told her that he loves her. Wow. I, I was surprised. And when Whitney said, obviously, she returned the sentiment, I was like, that ah, obviously, like, you don't. People say I love you. You don't say it until you're ready. But I guess she says she's ready because she told Matt she, she loves him. I'm just shocked. This is just so fast, so soon. But I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Keisha and Kwame. Keisha's two sisters and her BFF come over to have, I think, dinner with them. And... It's brought up that during Kwame's homestay, they went to the park, they went out to eat with his brothers, but they never went to his home. And so that's whack. Like, why didn't you go to your home, Kwame? He says that he's a very private person, which is okay, but he used the word secretive. I said, I'm not here for that word, Kwame. There are two options. Either one, Kwame has not told his entire family, his parents, siblings, his children, that he got married at first sight. And so he's waiting until decision day and they stay together to tell them these, this news. Or he's a grown man with multiple roommates. A grown man. It's like 40, right? With two kids, married, divorced with two kids. And he, his living situation is not ideal. And he doesn't want people to see it. That's what I think. Why, why else? Why else? Because like Keisha's BFF said, you knew what you were getting into. Like, you knew this was part of the process. You knew. So if you were not willing to do this part of the process completely, why, why are you here? Why are you here? And I feel like Keisha has been... I've heard before that in relationships, one person always likes the other person more. Like it's, it's very rare that you get a relationship that's even. And I definitely feel that earlier on, Keisha definitely liked Kwame or was more attracted to Kwame than he was to her. And even during the meal, Keisha's sisters asked Kwame, like, is, is, Keisha the kind of person that you usually go for? Kwame's answer is always the same. Usually he goes for someone more petite like Beyonce or Rihanna. That, what? Beyonce and Rihanna are not even alike. What are you talking about? And so he says that Keisha, he, he tells Keisha every day how, make sure that she knows how attracted he is to her. 
And so at the end of the meal, Keisha asks her BFF and her sisters, and all three of them do not think Kwame is the guy for Keisha. So as I was mentioning before, earlier on in the relationship, reception, honeymoon, Keisha definitely was here for Kwame. And he was the one that wanted to pause things, take things slowly, get to know her on an emotional level, not jump into the SEX. But I think the tables are turning, and I think that Kwame... It's a lot of this with Kwame. He's got a good mouthpiece. I, I'm not sure if the actions are backing up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's being honest. I'm not sure. I feel like we don't know Kwame, honestly. And it's okay to be private, but to be secretive is not okay. Why are you having secrets? You chose this. You, you answered a questionnaire. You got interviewed. You got vetted. You chose to be married at first sight. Why are you not doing all the requirements? Like, that's just whack to me. I really feel like his parents don't know. His kids don't know. I feel his friends, his bros, are the only people in his life that know that he is now a married man. Mm, mm, mm. April and George meet up with April's dad, who feels good about George, which is a great thing. After these second set of homestays, the couples return back to their apartment and they get ready for a night out. The grooms and Zoe, the brides and Thomas meet up for cocktails and to discuss their homestays. And I, Teneza, am convinced that producers feed them topics. 100%. Because they each group answered the same questions. How are the homestays? What did your family say? How are you feeling? And then they play Never Have I Ever. They both played that game. Why is Thomas so upset, you guys? According to Thomas, he doesn't care about 95% of <laughs> his castmates, <laughs> except Jenna, Shanita, and then of course, Keisha. I, I'm not really sure why he gets so upset. Maybe he's upset because the homestay did not go as well as he'd hoped. Maybe he got upset because he's confused about where he and Adrian stand. I don't know what made him so upset that he had to get up and leave, but he did. And when he left, even Shanita, one of his friends, said that the tension was gone. Because he went off on everyone. He went off on Sophie. He went off on Keish. He went off on everyone. I just, he needs therapy. There's, there's issues there. Thomas has deep-seated issues, maybe some undiagnosed trauma, I don't know, but he is a child. He acts like a child. Uh, and then one question that they both groups answer is, has anyone used the L word yet? And I was waiting for this moment, you guys. Matt confesses, yes, he has used the L word because it's true. And why did Zoe say they've been together 16 minutes? <laughs> Basically, they just got together. And Shanita has the same sentiment with Whitney, like, what? What? You guys love each other already? You don't even know each other. It's been a week. Who are we to say? tribe Keisha and Kwame I don't know I don't know it's weird because initially I think Keisha liked Kwame more than Kwame liked Keisha but he's fallen for her good cooking good conversation but I think that he being private slash secretive is not a good thing and Keisha trying to open up and he making jokes was not a good thing I don't know if Keisha knows enough about Kwame to commit to him. Thomas and Adrian. I, I think that Thomas's parents' advice 
has now like gotten under his skin. I don't know. I don't know if there's enough romance for Thomas and Adrian, to be honest with you guys. I think Jen and Zoe will make it work. We all know Zoe doesn't want to move. But again, Jen has got a business where Sophie and Jonathan, oh, the phone's up in the air. It's too soon to tell. He didn't make a good impression on her parents. Again, he's a nice guy, just not the right guy for their daughter. Again, I feel that Sophie, especially after the honeymoon, was very keen on Jonathan. But I think that as she gets to know him, he, he's brutally honest and he's not emotionally mature. I, I don't think there's enough there. Shanita and Jordan, they're going to work out, I think. April and George, I think they're going to work out. Whitney and Matt, I think. Um, not unfortunately. <laughs> Yo, why did Thomas call her an adulterer? <laughs> You liar. <laughs> he said you are a liar and an adulterer. I was like, ooh. It was a weird answer to the question, it is Whitney cheating on Duca? Do you consider, you know, being unfaithful? I guess it's because Whitney had said at the last commitment ceremony that she wanted to leave Duca, that people are not considering it her cheating on Duca. But they were still married and they're still together. And you guys couldn't have waited like three days. Like three days. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Things that like... I don't know. Thing, relationships that happen so fast can end just as fast. Yes, Tina Turner. R.I.P. Tina Turner. I just hope at the end of her life she had a good life. That she enjoyed her life. Anywho, back to the topic at hand. Keisha and Kwame, I'm going to say no. If I have to vote today, today, if I have to vote today, I'm going to say Keisha and Kwame are no. I want to say yes for Thomas and Adrian. They're going to try to make it work. Jenna and Zoe, I'm going to say yes. Sophie and Jonathan, I'm going to say no. Shanita and Jordan, yes. April and George, yes. Whitney and Matt, yes. So it's really Keisha and Kwame... Sophie and Jonathan that we'll have to see but remember Whitney and Duca already didn't work out and Matt and Gemma already didn't work out so all right all right all right this has been lovely I look forward to seeing you in our next review bye for now tribe